Welcome back to the channel guys. So today I think we got some pretty exciting news coming from the Raspberry Pi Foundation. They have announced a brand new Raspberry Pi. What? And no, unfortunately, it is not the Pi 4, but it's still sweet nonetheless. What we're actually getting here is the Raspberry Pi 3 Model A Plus. Shares the same footprint as the older Model A, so it's a lot smaller and compact, but it does have a lot of the same features and specs as the most current model. And I think this is gonna be pretty sweet. I see this being used for a lot of awesome projects and applications, and it's gonna be a little bit cheaper, 25 bucks. The Model 3B Plus is typically $35, so this cut down 10 bucks, but we are gonna be missing some features here. But like I said, the applications, the, the, the possibilities with this thing, I think are gonna be pretty sweet. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we could expect with this and this, you know, what the specs are, right? So what we're getting here, just like it's big brother, a 1.4 gigahertz, 64 bit quad core arm Cortex A53 CPU. Pretty awesome stuff in that scaled down package. Now this is where the features start getting cut. 512 megabytes of DDR2 SD RAM. So that's cut in half. Still going to be cool, but it's cut in half. You got to be aware of that. We do still have a dual band wireless and a Bluetooth, so that is definitely a cool thing. Um, it also states that it has improved USB mass storage booting, improved thermal management, just like the Model 3B Plus. Um, so you see some of the stuff on the board looks very similar to the way they designed the 3B Plus. I think this is going to be pretty cool, but it is missing a lot of stuff that some people might be like, well, I'm gonna have to add on a USB hub. Um, I have to go through wireless. I'm gonna have to do this, I'm gonna have to do that. So yeah, there's only one USB port, no ethernet port. So that is unfortunate, but like I said, these guys, they do, you know, they do a lot of awesome options and this is scaled back and cut down a little bit as far as what we're getting, but the applications, the uses for this are gonna be you know, drastically different than what you could use the Pi 3B or 3B Plus. So I still think it's gonna be pretty cool. We still have HDMI output. We still have a 3.5 millimeter jack. We still have our cable, um, you know, our cables so we can attach a, you know, video and, and stuff like that, cameras, if you so chose. Um, but yeah, one USB, no ethernet port, but we do have Wi-Fi and we do have Bluetooth built into the board. Um, it's going to have this official case. I always like these official cases. Um, I don't know if we can pull this up a little bit, but yeah, I, I always dug the official cases that they made. They had them for the 3B, um, which also worked for the 3B plus. They had them for the Pi Zero, the Pi Zero W. I always like the way these look. They're very simple. They get the job done. Um, you can't really put a fan or anything in there, but typically they're nice looking and they're usually only a few bucks. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, definitely not what people are hoping for, for the most part, especially those who are into the gaming aspect of this stuff. Um, it, you know, it's a little gimped compared to the 3B+, Plus, which a lot of us are using for RetroPie, you know, playing games and whatnot. And what I'm seeing with this is the possibility of, you know, using this for different handheld devices and stuff like that. Um, just being able to use this in a scaled down capacity where a Pi 3B Plus might have been a little too big or bulky and where you don't really need all those, all those options like the ethernet cable or multiple USB ports. Definitely only having one. I mean, can you make do with that? For me, with what I typically do with the Pi, I would probably have to use a hub to get everything set up initially um, and then just scale it back down to just using what's included. But I still think this is pretty cool. I love that they do these options. I love that they make, you know, variants of, you know, the boards. It sucks that we still don't have a Pi 4. Who knows if that'll ever come to fruition. Um, but definitely, if these guys get something out there that's, you know, exceeds what the, the Odroid XU4 can do, uh, and stuff like that. That's really what the future is of this. 
you know, the Raspberry Pi Foundation. A lot of the people who watch my channel, you know, we're into gaming and whatnot. And, you know, the, the Pi Foundation, they're not really looking at like, hey, we're making these devices for gaming. They're making this for a lot of different purposes, you know, educational purposes and, and, and you know, stuff like that. And, you know, gaming is not really what the forefront of these projects are for them. I, I mean, I'm sure they recognize that that's what they're used for, and there's been a huge surge in sales as far as the Raspberry Pi goes with Retro Pi and you know all the gaming awesomeness that you can use these for. But with this new board, twenty-five dollars, would I recommend getting it? Um, it's just going to depend on what you're going to be using this for, what kind of application you're going to use this for. For the extra ten dollars, I mean, if all you want to do is game. I would just recommend getting a Pi 3B Plus. You know, we can play all our old school games up to about PlayStation. PlayStation's pretty much perfect on there. Make your own PlayStation Classic with your own games using the same emulator that the PlayStation Classic is using. Um, this, will it be capable of doing those same things with that RAM being cut down in half? Um, well, that's going to cause some issues. Is it still going to be very capable? I think so, but we'll have to wait to see if this is still going to be able to play all the same stuff. I mean, I would imagine with the specs being cut down slightly, uh, just with the RAM anyway, that some things may not be possible anymore. But for sure, you know, you'd still be able to play your old 8 and 16-bit games. I'm just unsure of the stuff beyond that. But will I get one of these? I probably will just to mess with it. Um, but like I said, if all you're looking for is to play you know, retro games, I would recommend the Pi 3B Plus over this. If you're looking to build handhelds, um, this might be a pretty sweet option just because how small it is and how it's almost the same specs as a Pi 3B Plus, just scaled down. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. This is coming out in a few weeks from what I understand. I know Micro Center's putting out pre-orders, uh, possibly fries. I've seen a few places listing this, so Hey, if you're interested, check it out. I'll see if I can find a link, throw it in the description. Um, I'm going to grab one just to see what I can do with it. I mean, why not? 25 bucks. We'll have to see. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I read all the comments. Really do appreciate you guys. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. What are you waiting for? We've got had a lot of awesome news, a lot of cool projects we're looking at. Oh, and don't forget, make sweet love to that notification bell so you can be up to date on all my videos, everything going on around here. Appreciate it, guys. And I will catch y'all next time. Peace out. Bye-bye. Boom.